this is Charlene O'Hanlon, Managing Editor at DevOps.com, and I'm here at DevOps World, Jenkins World 2018, San Francisco, having such a great time so far. To my left is Aaron Kinsbrunner, who is an evangelist at Perfecto. Aaron, or, or, sorry, Iran, I, I apologize for mispronouncing your name. So, how's the show for you so far? Really exciting, uh, packed, very busy, a lot of great conversations with practitioners in the DevOps space. Uh, totally excited to also launch a book uh, that I've just finished working on uh, with CloudBees. So, uh, exciting times. Great, great, yeah, you, you mentioned the book. We'll go ahead and put it up so everybody can see it. Um, tell us a little bit about the book, how you decided to uh, undertake the, uh, the project and what it's done for you. Sure, so the name of the book is Continuous Testing for DevOps and I believe that continuous testing is one of the key enablers for DevOps uh, in a sense that for DevOps to work you need fully automated pipeline and usually what blocks the pipeline are the test, the test activities and the testing activities can be uh, unit testing, build acceptance testing, functional and non-functional testing and uh, to make this work and uh, like uh, unblock all the, the obstacles you need a continuous testing workflow and uh, the book kind of combines a lot of guidelines and principles uh, to enable organizations uh, to undergo all that they need to do to make the continuous testing successful and improve their agility and their pipeline. Excellent, excellent. So how long did it take you to write the book? Oh, so it's my second book, so it okay. was a bit shorter than the previous book, yeah. but uh, it was about like a, like a baby, almost nine months. Oh, wow. Yeah, uh, mm -hmm. and it was in collaboration with a lot of guys from the industry. CloudBees was there. Uh, Tricentis and mm -hmm. some other uh, cool folks, so uh, yeah. Excellent, excellent. So so what are some of the conversations that you're hearing at this show? What are, what are some of the things that people are talking about? So still, uh, you know, people are trying to mature DevOps uh, mm -hmm. and uh, as mentioned, they are stuck in the quality validation, especially because of the digital transformations. The applications are becoming more and more complex, especially the mobile and web. And uh, to guarantee quality, they need a pipeline that works always green, continuous testing that works for them. And uh, they have a lot of flakiness in the test due to the platforms that they are testing against, mm -hmm. uh, mobile devices, as I mentioned. So they're trying to kind of uh, not reinvent the wheel, but understand what's blocking the testing activities and unblock it. And uh, one of the recommendations that kind of is common uh, in the industry is basically start small, don't build a huge pipeline with a lot of testing artifacts, start small, stabilize your CI activities, your Jenkins uh, jobs and activities, and then build on top of that so you can scale DevOps and make it a bit more stable. Okay, so you know, one of, one of the things I've been kind of kicking around in my head is the idea of IoT and artificial intelligence and all these other kind of, I don't want to say new technologies, but you know, maybe in the DevOps space they are new technologies. So. Yeah. Um, I, yeah, I'm wondering how those are impacting kind of the, the testing, testing as a whole, and and how we're approaching testing. So there is continuous disruption by these new platforms, mm -hmm. uh, IoT, even mobile. You know, this week iOS 12 mm -hmm. came out with all the new iPhones, new screen sizes, new layout, new hardware, performance changes. Uh, so there is always disruption uh, with these new platforms, with these new innovative. Uh, platforms and the testing needs to kind of keep up with the things otherwise instead of uh, developers working on the next features and cleaning up their backlogs they need to debug and do more testing so uh, it needs to go hand in hand with the innovation and for that you know uh, these platforms has a lot of better versions better programs so developers need to be a bit more agile around it develop more unit testing and maintain all the code and their tests as well as the pipeline continues to evolve. Sounds complicated. It is, it is, <laughs> yeah. Great, well, Iran, thank you so much for, uh, for joining me today. It's been a pleasure. My pleasure, yeah. thank you.